Chapter 6, Part 1. We're going to concentrate in this section on the verb faire, but beforehand I want to show you a picture of Felicet. Felicet is the cat that went in the, uh, the rocket at the end of the last chapter in that, transfer, uh, that uh, uh, passage that you read. And so we have a, uh, a card that she sent out afterwards. Now notice that it's Felicet. It's not a Felix like they originally thought. Once uh, uh, they brought her back to the earth and did some examinations, they said, oops, this is a girl cat. And here's a thank you card she sent out, and it says, Merci pour votre participation à mon succès le 18 octobre 1963. So that says, uh, thank you, merci, for your participation in my success, uh, the success on... Uh, October 18th, 1963. And if you download this video, you'll be able to get a link to uh, um, a video where they actually, uh, uh, well, they don't quite interview the cat, but they show uh, uh, what she did in uh, space. So now we're going to look at this very special verb, faire. And faire is generally translated to make or to do. It can be translated as a lot of different things. It's kind of a generic verb. Sometimes if you don't know what verb to say, you just stick in fair and that will uh, uh, that'll make do. Um, so the present tense with a uh, it's got um, some interesting conjugations. The singular je fais, tu fais, il fait that has the f i f a i stem with the s s t endings which are pretty normal. The vu form, the new form, is nous faisons. And this is interesting for a couple reasons. We get that S in there, it just kind of magically appears. And it's not pronounced nous faisons, it's nous faisons. It's like this, that AI is pronounced like a, 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 an E without an accent mark. And then the vu form doesn't end in an ez. Almost all verbs end in ez for the vu form, but here it's vu fet. The s is silent. And then the uh, il form, the they form, we've got an ont ending, like we saw in avoir, ils ont, and etre, ils sont. Here we've got il font uh, for uh, they do or they make. Now, another tricky aspect of fair is that the past participle is fe, just like the third person singular, so it looks, uh, uh, looks similar. So here are some examples. Je fais mes devoirs. So devoir is homework, and this would translate as I do my homework, or I am doing my homework. Mes de homework is always uh, plural, mes devoirs. Literally, it means my duties, but that's that's the normal word for uh, homework. And then the second sentence is, elle a, fait des devoirs, uh, elle a fait ses devoirs. So that would be the past tense. So je fais is the present, elle a fait is the past tense. Uh, she did her homework, or she has done her homework. The avoir is the conjugating verb in the A form. And the fe is the past participle. So fe is the past participle there. Il fait des problèmes. So here we've got the third person singular present tense. He's making some problems, or he's making problems would be uh, how you could translate that. So that fe can either be the third person singular or the past participle. Here's some expressions with a fair. Uh, uh, since it's such a general verb form, that's used in a lot of different attention, uh, different verbs that you have to pay attention to. So, for example, faire attention à means to pay attention to. For example, il fait attention aux conjugaisons. He pays attention to conjugations because he's a good student. He doesn't just fill them in with whatever he thinks that. Uh, uh, they should be. He looks at the conjugation and says, "Aha! That's a third person singular present tense." Il fait attention. He pays attention aux conjugaisons to the conjunctions. The third one, 
or, or the next expression is faire de son mieux or faire son possible. They both mean to do one's best. So those are good expressions. Uh, je fais de mon mieux means I'm doing my best. Now literally it means I'm doing of my best, um, but we would just translate I'm doing my best. Another expression is faire peur à. So that means to frighten. Peur is a word for fear. Um, il a fait peur aux enfants. He frightened the children. Uh, so we've got faire conjugated with avoir with the past participle. So that would be the past tense. Faire peur à. So that would be he frightened the children. Les enfants. Now, if there wasn't the a, ah, faire peur just means uh, to be frightening. Um, so, uh, if, it, if, it, if it was just il a fait peur, that would be he was frightening. But since it was aux enfants, we wouldn't say he was frightening to the children. We would say he frightened the children. Faire plaisir a ah, means to please or to make happy. Il a fait plaisir à sa femme. He made his wife happy, which is a good strategy for marriage. Now, there's some impersonal expressions with fair. And impersonal means that there's a subject, but the subject doesn't have an antecedent. It doesn't refer to anything. So the expression il fait describes the weather. Il fait beau means it's good weather. Il fait mauvais means it's bad weather. So it's a... Uh, um, just a real common expression that's used in anything that's used, whether literally or figuratively. Il fait beau, it's good weather. Il fait mauvais, bad weather. So here are some exercises. And when you are finished, you can, after you write down everything, you can go to the next uh, video to uh, correct them.